All right, what's going on to every single person from the east, west, north, and the south, wherever it is you might be watching us from, you're welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where everything we speak it as it is. My name is Miles, the eighth wonder of the world, and <laughs> Koleyemi, how we do this every day. Koleyemi, how we just keep the vibe covering. Koleyemi, how Plus TV just happens to be one of the best stations in the world. Uh, if you get a better deal somewhere else, we just switch off our transmitters, and you know that will never happen. So you're welcome. It's Monday. It's a new, it's a new week, and we are hoping that um, everything will go well and accordingly. I have an amazing person in the building. Now, you saw a performance, right, before we came in the studio. We'll be talking about that very much later because you cannot understand Koleyemi at all how that performance came to be. I have an amazing person in the building. My, my ride or die, my my Oga at the very top, most top. I'm talking about Uyi Mez in the building. Uyi, what's good? I'm good. You're looking fly, by oh, the way. Looking thank you. I like the hair. I like the get up. I like everything. You're looking, you're looking together. What's, what's the secret? What were you doing over the weekend? I was just resting. Mm, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you move for you. I was resting and I was eating as a foodie that I am. I mean, it's the way you, it's the way, it's the way you may talks about being a foodie. Yes. With all, with all pride. With all confidence. With all confidence. With my like, full chest as a foodie that I am. Like, happy new month, by the way. If you do, oh yeah, I think we're seeing, we're seeing for the first time. Happy new month. Yeah, yeah yes. we're seeing for the first time this year. Happy new month. Uh, we're getting ready for the second quarter, by the way. By eh? the way, yeah. you look Tony, what do you oh want? Yeah, I do not have money to give you. If it's money, <laughs> you I don't. Oh, I'm crushing. I'm crushing. Crushing on you. Oh, God, on crush. <laughs> All right, and we cannot do this without you guys. You have to, you are amazing viewers. You can be part of the conversation by calling in on 0909 408 408 and share your opinions on anything and everything we might be talking about today. Now, let's get straight to it. Over the weekend, a few things happened over the weekend, and we just have our weekend recap, and we want to just share with you before people who missed it. Uh, first up on our week, week, weekend recap, it's portable to be arranged. <laughs> Single portable to be arranged today in court. My now, guy. We, we, we talked about this uh, last week, and, we, and I said, this guy, he, he needs to calm down. That like, if he's not careful, he will definitely get himself in trouble. And here it is. Like, his yeah, mouth sure. and his behavior. Now, according to the, uh, the court document, uh, according to the police filing, they said he assaulted a policeman. Yes, he resisted yes. her arrest. Uh, he assaulted another human, another person that used to work under him and all. He's so signing. He's signing. Thank yeah. you very much. So, yeah. So, that's it for portable. Portable, my uh, We just hope after this should, particular he situation, he will just calm down. Yeah. But <laughs> the babu that comes from a zoo. I, I, do, mean, I, do, babu. I don't think, I don't I think that's happening. I don't think that's... Zaz. <laughs> it's okay. The crush you Sorry. have on this guy... No, I don't have a crush on it. Yeah. I just like, I don't know. I just like him for me distance. Like, I just love his energy. I don't know why. I, I just I, love I his energy. energy. You're about. <laughs> anyway, another, uh, another story that happens over the weekend is Saga and Nini of Big Brother Ninja got engaged. Oh. Now, I didn't see that coming. I, I really here. didn't see that coming. I, I just thought Nini wasn't really feeling Saga. Like, uh, so when they got out, out of, outside the house and the woman, the lady now saw that, I said, this guy, who oh, small. I think he's was when I saw the video, I thought it was like a movie. A skit or a movie yeah, or something. Movie you know how people are... It turns out it was actually real. Yeah, but and congratulations yeah, to congratulations. them. Uh, Saga and Nini, and we hope this takes... Like, Big Brother has been uh, producing, like, love girls. Couples, you know? like, yeah. Hey, this, this, this the is likes of Bam Bam, the likes Tellier. of... Um, yeah. Bamba Then yeah. likes of... Um, Ko um, Kof um, huh? Kof um, huh? What's her name? The police... Um, Oh, Co um, Kafi. Co Kafi, yeah, thank you. I want to and say Gideon. Kofi. Yeah, and, and Gideon. Gideon. Yeah. Now we have um, Saga and Nini. That's, that's, that's really that's good. And they're all waxing strong. They're still yeah. looking like they're, going, they're waxing stronger. Congratulations to them. And over the weekend also, Mr. Easy becomes the first Nigerian to win the Latin Grammy Award. It's as not a, easy. In four categories. It's and he got easy. four certificates for that. Like, that wow. is huge. I'm really extremely proud of him. Uh, the one thing about Mr. Easy that I have noticed is the fact that he actually knows his onion. He knew what he wanted to do and what he was all about from day one. Apart from the fact that he's a businessman, he's a philanthropist, he's, he's all that. But you see his music career, eh? trust me, he might not drop a song in another five years and comes again with like two songs and they just yeah. they just go platinum again. So yeah, True. congratulations to him. Uh, and that's about it. That's, that's that's one of the few things that happened. All right, so um, Motivation of Monday. All that man is saying is, what he was trying to say is that the human brain cannot phantom the negative it, do, it doesn't register negative all we just we are the human we are the people all this thing oh this thing is negative let's just start thinking of it. why don't you just think of positive if he says oh do, he said he did an experiment do not think about an elephant okay that's what you think about do not think about the cop i said come on you're thinking about the cop she said so we can't it's what you process for your brain what you put your brain through is what your brain will actually true yeah exactly yeah, true. so when you think about the positive which i think everybody we should keep 
thinking about positive, positively, yeah. positive, positive uh, thoughts, positive events. Like just think about everything positive, and it just help you uh, through the week. And Monday, everybody like ah, Monday again, ah. This Monday again, say like, yeah, I know how Mondays can be, but I have a yeah. positive uh, attitude as you're going to work today and as you're going to be dealing with all your fellow or colleagues at, at the office and your bosses. Just have a positive image, uh, mindset. Like, today, this week is going to be an amazing Even one. if anybody tries to, like, offend you. Which will you, always happen. Just be positive. Which, and so if somebody slaps you, just do what the Bible... The Bible said... Turn the other turn cheek, the other and cheek yeah. you'll be fine. Right. So that video is as simple as it is. It's Motivational Monday. Get out there and make that bag, make that money. Uh, while some people are busy playing and doing the play, <laughs> just the play, <laughs> some people are just clicking and making money. There's so much you can do on your mobile device, yeah. on your computer. There's so much money you can make. Legal money. Legal money, not illegal money, yeah. that you can make on your mobile device and, and your mobile devices and be cashing out instead of just doing in the rubbish and in the nonsense. So, yes, try and use your time Positively, daily and make to money. Key. All you, those daily to key. James, this is what that guy did. What that one they do? I can slice. Yeah. I can slice orange your hair. I'm like, you let just me just start down at the comfort of his own and, and use your brain. Click, click and make money. Money just I mean, drop. Yeah. Stay motivated. One more video, and we'll get to the stories for today. Okay, I think there's no more video. She ah. like a meal. Anyway, since there's no more, <laughs> let's just get let's just get straight into the stories for today. Now, the first story for today is coming from the Big Brother Titan House. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that reality show. I don't know. I know why, but we won't talk about it. I'm not a big fan, but yeah, here it is. Congratulations! Uh, congratulations are in order for is it Kosi or Kosi? Kosi. Okay, Kosi as she is crowned the winner of the first edition of the Big Brother Titans reality show. Kosi goes home with the grand prize of a hundred thousand. Uh, dollars, US dollars, which is 50 million in a crazy morning. Cash prize, including endorsement deals. She has she beat 23 housemates uh, during the show that lasted for 72 days, hosted by Lawrence Malika and Ibuka Obi Richendu. Uh, the 25-year-old 25, 25 is a journalist, Instagram model, fitness guru, content creator who kept viewers entertained with her personality and love interests. They even put it, how many love interests does she have? Uh, with Kosi as a winner, we have uh, Kanga Jr. as the second, run the first runner-up, and we have, uh, this, this, this uh, South African South name. Tisatsi. Tisatsi. <laughs> I apologize. At the second uh, runner-up. So congratulations to her. And I hope after this night, we can just rest. Uh, we can rest, especially people in the newsroom. Uh, lots of them. Oh, yeah. We can rest we now. Can rest. We can rest on the, oh my God, did you watch Big Brother Titans yesterday? Like, okay. So, so person dance one kind of, like, how does that concern me? So, how so does person were in the in room doing their thing. Like, you know how they gist about these things. I know. But for real, congratulations to her. And um, when the show started, right. I... I had this feeling that she was going to like emerge. Every, everyone is everyone yeah, saying this. Yeah, because the way she came into the house, like she brought that energy, she brought mm. that vibe, and I just love her stay in the house. Yes, although I did not really like watch the um, the show. Why didn't you? You're, you're you're one of the Gen Zs. This is what you people like. So why didn't you watch it? I wasn't really like feeling it, and I had other better things to do. And besides, we had um, presidential right. elections, and also, I mean, I can't really like waste my time. Better pick it. <laughs> So, aside that, she was good. She was okay. All right, cool. So, yeah. congratulations to her. Um, reality shows in Nigeria have come and go. They've um, produced a lot of amazing mm, people, and yeah. some people have rode on the, on that platform to become better things better in the wild. Yeah. Some people are just doing in the rubbish that I, I don't want to talk about. Now, let's move to the next story for today. Uh, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, has declared a Port Harcourt based popular. Uh, What's that, what's that thing? Prophetess. I want to Prophet. say pastress. Oh. Prophetess Faith Ugochi and an Instagram celebrity couple, Ugo Ubiro, Ibirobo and Daniela Simba Allen, wanted for allegedly recruiting teenage girls into drug trafficking while they serve as the arrowhead of the international syndicate hmm. oh. operating all the way from Los Angeles in the United States. Uh, the spokesperson of the agency, Femi Babe Femi, who disclosed this in a statement, said the lid was blown off the, off the cartel when NDLA operatives at the narco import shed of the Mutalem International Airport, Ikeja, intercepted a consignment of 32.70 kilograms of strong variants of cannabis concealed in cartons of used clothes. Wow, that's now, a lot. Now, when we do, when you guys do, God, when? Because if you go through Daniela and that guy's Instagram page, you you just like, God, when? God, really? Look at this power yeah. couple. I ah, mean, see what they're doing with their lives and, oh, this is so, this is so amazing. And you're like, ah, God, when? Mr. Ba not knowing what is happening. Now, uh, the NDLA caught some suspects, like I think four of them, three young girls and one guy, and they, they confessed to being sent on such errands 
by these people, including the prophetess. So now these guys have been put on the wanted list, and uh, if I were them, I just turn myself in. JJ, like, okay, cool, let's talk. Cool. This is what happened. I'm, I don't know anything about it. Or I do know something because at the end of the day, they will find you. It's, it's, it's a digital yeah, world. True. There's no way you can run to right now. They'll find you. What's your take on this, please? Okay, so my when I saw the story, when I was going through the story, something just came to my mind. Bam. And what came to my mind was don't choose or don't choose to be like everybody. The fact that you're seeing people, you know, achieving one of one or two things, achieving one or two things, or you're seeing people, you know, buying um cars. Yeah, expensive cars, and expensive all, houses. And you're like, Which is oh good. God, when am I a ketu? Like, you know, yes, people ask themselves on <laughs> Okay, I'm serious, okay. like, like God, when? When am I going to do this? Now, look at it now. Hmm. You know, the, there's this saying, many days for a thief, one day is for the owner. I think... No, wait. Though. I mean, I'm not calling them a thief. I'm just no, saying, I'm, but they're already, they've already been declared wanted by wanted. the ESCC, so. No, I'm not saying they are, but I'm just, like, using that phrase to, like, you know, just... Yes. All right, cool. So uh, there's nothing wrong with hard work. Hard, hard work, just, just be, be yourself. Keep and, your thing. Yeah, just keep Don't watch anybody's thing. time. Keep doing your thing gradually and you will get there. Gradually. You might not get there today or tomorrow, but someday, eventually, you'll get there. Now, this is good news, by the way. I don't, I don't talk about this one. I really like this one. Uh, comedian Real Wari Peking. Who know, you know her now? Yeah, I do. I really love her. Uh, and her husband, Ikechuku Asova, are about to have their dream wedding. This is, this is amazing. Ten years Aww. after they got married. And as I said in a post that her wedding was not all she wanted. It's because they were low on funds as at that time. But now that they want to redo it, they want to make it big, they want to mark at their 10th year anniversary, they're going to have a massive wedding. This still brings me back to the same thing. Now, there's also pressure in the whole, you have to get married at my, my wedding, the whole world we hear. Mm. Uh, they don't die. They are father. I'm going to feed 2 billion people <laughs> and much more, right? Yeah. But in this case, like when they had next to nothing at that time but you know let's just do this thing let's just do it now let's just do it quiet right and when the time comes we'll have a massive, massive one and 10 years yeah. after celebrating their 10th uh, anniversary they're, they're having a massive dream wedding party june 10th this is amazing and they already have kids so don't, don't don't get interested they already have kids they're married they're doing well for themselves so yeah. there's always time for everything that's that's my point your point my point is um like i would always say the fact that you don't have, for example, now people like people who want to get married. Mm. The fact that you don't have the money now, just make do with what you have. You know, now the society has made it look like if you don't have money, like if you don't have money, you shouldn't get married. If you, never have, if you don't have money, hide your face. You if shouldn't you don't have get money, married. Don't have a girlfriend. Someone said last week. One of who okay. said that last week? I think uh, it was one of our celebrities said, ah, "If you have, if you don't have money, you oh, have no DM business." DM DM me. Yeah, DM said, DM if you don't have uh, money as a man, you have no, no business, business having a relationship or going into a relationship. I don't understand. Do and I had, and that same that same thing he said. I had a discussion with one of our colleagues right. here, and she was like, "His um his statement is fallacious." I mean. Every guy should um, go for his kind of person. Okay. So yes. Okay. So there's, there's, there's great. There's okay. great to everything. So if you do not have money for like you know all these like girls who are you know. I I don't know what that means. What does it mean? Like if you don't have money for you know all this high class. What's like, an, what's the definition of a high class? Like um, you say a girl who is flawless, her skin is popping, and, and, and as a guy, you don't have money to, like, you know, foot all those bills. I mean, there are other girls down below that, you know, that... Ha! Can, hey! That, so, as a guy, hey, just, hey. just date according to your well, yeah, pocket. You, you, took, yes, now. You, took, you took shots at people on a Monday body. There are other girls down below yes, that, will no, foot that will foot into your pocket that okay. you can actually, like, you know... See, I've seen things, though. I've seen things. Like, I've seen things. So, wait, so who do you fit into their pocket like this? Me? Like, what kind of guy would you say you fit into their pocket? Um, the likes of, um, let's say, um, Whiskey, Davido, ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah. Those are my kind of... Because, because you are wearing Yoruba glasses now, we don't hear what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, let's move away from that. Uh, let's move to someone else. That's Inyaya. Inyaya is in the news for uh, something entirely different. He's just, he just recorded. I think something happened to him recently. Um, he's about to drop a new song. And he was, I think he was, he was here a few months ago for one interview yeah. with Ife when we were having a discussion here. Now he's about to drop a new song and things like that. And he just, he just recalled when his hit songs way back in the days, Kukere dropped. And your waist. And yeah. Kukere drops first. first and okay. it was a major hit, massive hit. There was a pressure, there was pressure from his label, like, okay, we have to f have a follow-up song that's going to be equally bad or better than this one, blah, blah. What do we do? Then his label boss at that, at that time, that's Ubi Franklin, said, why don't we put... A rapper, an international rapper on this yeah. song. Like, who should we use? 
Nicki Minaj. I'm like, okay, cool, this is nice. Nicki Minaj, and it got on a plane, went to the United States of America, had to, went to have a meeting with Nicki Minaj, and Nicki Minaj says, before you can have me on a song, you pay 200000 as I didn't know, $200,000, which they could not afford, afford as at that time. They yeah. had to just come back home and just go and move. Now, my question is this, right? Before getting on the plane, to go to the United States of America. Did you not do your research? Did you, did you not reach out uh, to the management? Did you not send emails? I think you guys will have that kind of conversation first before just jumping on the plane, bam, let's yeah. go. Didn't you just do all that stuff and like just ask, like, because he said he lost millions. millions of like, that. he lost a whole lot of money trying to feature Nick Minaj from the trying to bribe this person to flying up and down. Like, you should do your research before doing that. Now, Nigerian music has gone so far that we don't even really need international collaborations anymore. The international, the international world, they are looking at us and they want to have collaborations with us. Course, I, think, yeah. I think they are paying us now. Like, oh, please, David, can yeah. I have you on my song? Let me drop a song. Let me drop a verse on my song. Uh, the likes of Thames and um, um, DJ Khaled. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Thames also wrote a song for Rihanna. Rihanna, you know? so, yes. So, like, what are we saying? Like, they're paying us now. So, that time has gone. But I think that was a time when uh, we didn't really know where this Afrobeats genre was taking us, we didn't really have an idea. But now that we know, it's I mean, but, but he should try his luck again. Maybe, who knows? With who? With um, Nicki Minaj. Now what? Uh? Yes, he should. Like, actually, if he just reaches out to her now, I'm very sure if he reaches out to he her should. right now, he's just like, oh, yeah, I why have not? a feeling. I, I don't know. I want to prophesy into his life. I have yeah. a feeling that if you reach out well, to her, <laughs> <laughs> if you, no, he should actually, he should actually reach out to her. He might, or she might actually, you know, you know, okay, you know what? Yeah, yeah, let's, Let's hope on it. When did you become Cynthia Morgan? She's one seeing visions and things now and prophesying into people's lives. I mean, Afrobeat has gone so viral. Viral, yeah. Global. Forget yes, viral global. Is like, Afrobeat has gone so far. And people now want to... I, associate. Yeah, people want to associate. I saw some I, Asian guys. I think I, we played on, the, on, this, on this show once. Some Asian guys, three Asian guys that sang in their language, but Afrobeat, it was amazing. amazing. The video was cool and nice. Like, so what are we talking about? And, I, and another thing I've noticed is... Um, most of these like Western um, um, singers, artists, and musicians, anytime they drop like a new um, song, it always sounded like Afrobeat. It it's yes, that like yeah, it's already having that Afrobeat flow. So I just feel like now that Afrobeat is really doing well, he should reach out to her again. Again, right? Yes. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you're part of the family. You, you, we know you. You know us. So maybe according to Professor. We, she mm -hmm. wants you to just reach out to uh, Nicki Minaj again. And, but again. I don't think yeah. he would he want to do something with Nicki Minaj anymore right now. As in, there's so many other people that are popping right now. Maybe Nicki was popping that time. Ah, uh, you say Nicki Minaj is not popping? Right now, not really. She is? Not really. Nicki, Nicki Minaj's song is not on the top 10 for now, so let her just chill. Okay. Maybe Rihanna right now could work. Maybe. What do you think? It would be off. Nikki, Rihanna and Ian, yeah, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah. Ian will just have to go back to his normal R&B style. Like, Except like he will, does it will, that. It will sound nice, Sherry. Uh, someone we talked about last week also is also in the news. Popular Instagram relationship expert, Blessing Okoro, better known uh, by her handle, Blessing CEO, has been remanded in prison for allegedly uh, cyberbullying someone. Now, a federal, court, a federal high court sitting in Lagos ordered the remand of the Instagram influencer, according to Lagos State PPRO, Benjamin Undeyi, in a chat with an online media platform, uh, said Blessing was arrested by operators of the Force Criminal Investigation Department. Uh, the prosecution counsels told the court on Friday that Blessing used her Instagram page to bully, threaten, harass Fola Shadi Samuels, Samuels. That's a sister to a late Bimbo Obona. That's wife of IVD. Hmm. See. Okay. <coughs> now, um, this shows you guys that uh, you saw this bullying like i mean my father's house come and come and catch me and you say rubbish especially gen z's you guys just open your mouth and carry your keypad and just type all kind of nonsense and insult people on social media this is this is what happened they just picked that one well blessing is not new she's not new to being picked up so aside from that i feel like it's even far from um the fact that she bullied someone online so there's rumor hmm. Like, we have rumors going on that she had something to do with um, the late... Um, she had, Yeah, she had some... Death. Yeah, that and all. So I, I, I doubt that, too. Actually, go and read. Um, I think I saw a story on Linda Ikeji's blog. Right. Yes, talking about that, that she had something to do... She was not present when that thing happened. You know, people are beginning to, like, associate her. No. The only reason they will associate her with anything is the fact that she maybe she's close to the husband. Yes, and ever since that incident happened, she has always been on this case. Like, 
she she has always been how will I even she put didn't it? just drink water and mind her business. Yes, she has always been on this case. Anybody that says anything about IVD or more, you've uh you've looked for her trouble. Is it, is it even amazing how we are using this very fine, fine picture, picture of her? Why can't we use the picture that when she was being picked up? Like, yeah, let's just let people world know that this was happening with uh, her. I'm I'm not huh. what's that? No, no, I'm, no, not, no. I'm not for cyberbullying. I hate it. Cyberbullying, threatening, harassing, all those things you guys do online. I hate it with all my life. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be looking out for somebody. There's even someone that is owing me money online. Mm. Yes, so there's someone that is owing me money. And the guy has refused to reply my messages since till now. I'm going to, I'm going to find you and I'll get you arrested. <laughs> you just sounded like one character in John Wick. <laughs> Which one if I that? find you, I'm going to kill you. And yeah, something like that. Is that John Wick? That's taken. I think that's. Are you sure? I think that's taken. Yeah, I think that's taking. You are, you, are, you are mixing it up. You know what we'll do? Okay. Let's go for a music break. See how your, your head will cool. When we get yeah. back, let's go for a music break real quick. When we get back, it's still tea time and you will get to meet our amazing guests. Don't go nowhere.